the lesson here for founders, and I tell this to founders, is don't do anything that's close to the line. If he took seven hundred million out, okay, we would all be like, hmm. Mm. But do you still need to make the six million licensing the name to the right. company? You just right. took seven hundred million out. And do you really need the company to pay you rent on buildings that you such own? a bad look? Yeah, it's the appearance. Even is if there's so a reason, bad. and they gave this whole convoluted, you know, they were like, well, it increased the availability of space when no one else was buying it, and so he had to buy them under his own. And it was like, no, no, you didn't. Still no. What he needs to do is he needs to take this wee family of trademarks, and he has to say, you know what, I did this. And I realized this is probably a mistake and the optics aren't great. I'm going to gift it back to the company and I'm going to give the company back the $6 million. Mm -hmm. And then he should say, you know, the $700 million I have and all that stuff. You know, I've, thought, I've given it some thought and I am going to put myself up in a twice as long lockup of the other employees and investors to show I'm, I'm long. This is what I would do. That's smart. If I believe Both in of the those business. are actually very good ideas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I, I counsel companies now for a well, living. No, no, I didn't mean that sarcastically. Yeah. I mean, they actually, if, if he did those tomorrow, it would be materially good for the IPO. Like, these yeah. would be intelligent yeah. things to do. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. And so I don't know who's advising him, but not. I want to talk about that because when we give founders now, like the industry of Silicon Valley has a, a founder first focus now, more so than it used to because founders now have more control in investing. Uh, it's a disaster. Climates. And so you can end up with the founder having uh, kind of voting control even past an IPO. We've seen this with Facebook. It's worked out kind of. And in this case, hasn't worked out quite as well. Do you think he just doesn't have people around him, Adam Newman, that are telling him this is a mistake? Because we sit around here, we look at this document for five minutes, and we're like pulling our hair out going, what is this? What are we looking at? Banana pants. Banana pants. Banana pants. I can tell you what happens. Okay. Uh, when people get rich and powerful, uh, like a number of friends who are, they, the people around them who can tell them the truth, that group gets fixed. You mean set? Like it stays? Gets set. Okay. Because when you're a billionaire... Anybody you meet after getting rich, you can't trust their advice because you're a billionaire now and they want your money and they want your influence and they want to stand next to you in a picture. So they're left with a small cohort of people. Then that cohort of people will then, some group of them will lobby those people for money and try to you know uh, trade off of their good name. So then the group gets reduced even further. Mm. And so if you have somebody like my very close friends, Travis, Elon, Chamath, people you cover. The number of people who can tell Chamath or Elon or Travis, I disagree with you on this one, mm -hmm. is small. And it's not that those people don't want the candid advice. It's that the people on the other side are nervous. If, if we're sitting here and the big boss, you want to tell them they're wrong? It's, it's a very hard thing to do. And you have to, as you go up the stack and become more powerful, more influential, or a billionaire, um, you have to fight to get candid advice. And you are always wondering if you're getting it. And in this case, he's a narcissist. Right. And a maniac, obviously. Right. right. Who doesn't have good judgment. That's just plain and simple. And best case, if you're in this scenario, some paranoia sets in to all of your points. Plus, over time, some paranoia sets in. You right. get this bunker mentality. Pretty soon, you sure. don't think you trust the people that you trust. Like, you torch your vizier with your dragon. Boom. Yeah. And you so just... He, yeah. So he did not have a foundation... That was strong enough to handle this amount of power, this amount of privilege, this amount of money. Yeah. And he just makes bad decisions. And somebody needs to just, you know, if it was Ma Masayoshi san who put the most money in, needs to get on a plane, one of his planes, and just sit the kid down and say, I, I know I gave you all this money. A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. Number one, you're giving the trademark. Or I'm out. I'm selling my shares. The, the Which will collapse and tank the company. Yeah, Masa right? says I'm out for this behavioral reasons. It's over. Yeah, it's over. And so that's what needs to happen. Is somebody needs to put their foot down with this founder and say, listen, this is just bad optics. Is it also possible that this founder is in hundreds of millions of dollars worth of debt? Like I was sort of trying to do the math here and I'm like, even if he got paid $6 million and he got paid some rent and whatever, if he's taken out, it sounded like he has taken out multiple loans in yeah. the tens of millions are, to hundreds of millions of dollars. The recourse of those loans is his shares. Right. So they're not personal recourse loans. So he can't lose so his you own. Take a, so he can't lose I see. that okay. money? It could, it could get problematic. Right. But here's he's not going to have to file personal bankruptcy. So here's the great rub. You're an average civilian. You take out a loan, mortgage, bank loan, whatever. You're personally on the hook. Mm -hmm. You become rich. You got the stock offer, equity. You take a loan against it. You never have to pay tax. It's a loan. Not only do you not have to pay tax, you might be able to get a tax write-off for the loan. Not only do you not have to pay tax, now you have that loan. It's no not personal recourse. 
you've put your shares up as the recourse. I like really don't want to be a personal citizen anymore, kind of. Yeah. 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 It's, wow. It's pretty crazy, right? And none of this, none of it, no, still none of this falls under banana pants SEC rules. Still no. All fine. This is it, all fine. It's not the SEC's it's job. It's all fine to, in America. It's not the SEC's job to protect Goldman. Right. Uh, it is their job to protect right. civilians and make sure that things are on I mean, the up I, and up. Yeah. I just think about a pension fund eventually being yeah. invested in this company. And I'm like. You know some of them will be. Yeah. Yeah. Unquestionably. No, they don't necessarily have to be. There could be no appetite for the stock when it goes public. That's the big fear. And that's what I wanted to talk about next. What Does is the happen? chance that this IPO doesn't go out because they can't find a price that the company is okay with and the market is will accept as palatable? I mean, I don't think this was a, a topic of discussion before we saw the S1, but now that we've all seen it, I'm curious if anyone's willing to put their foot in the water here and hmm. say that it won't happen. I, I don't know enough to really make a call, but I'm curious. Hmm. Molly? I, I mean, I look at this and I'm like, there's no way this could happen but apparently but a whole bunch of things have happened in just the last couple of years that I never would have thought would happen like I, presumably someone still thinks that there is money to be made here and if there's any money to be made why wouldn't it go forward um and just wait for the news about the we work summer camp to drop which wait this year's summer camp just all summer camps <laughs> mm, that's see and there's a universe in which that would be super smart i mean if Ronnie, they dump this guy, I'm just gonna say, you know what the summer camp is? Like all the employees go upstate New York and go and crazy. Oh no! I thought you meant stock. that they would literally like buy space and then hold summer no. camps there for like poor no, kids no, because no, I'm no. a dumb dumb. No, no, they've had a summer camp for like. You know what would be awesome is yeah, if they would did camp. my thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's not a summer. Camp. No, there's literally a summer camp that occurs. So imagine you had a such a naive. Just imagine. All right. A world in which Twitter decided, you know what would be a really great idea, if we had all of our employees go up to, I don't know, Napa. And we just created a giant, like personal burning man to occur inside of our company. Great. From what oh. I understand, they've been running a burning man of WeWork and people come back and every year a couple of people don't go back to work. This is what somebody in Insider told oh, me. Oh dear God. And that there's like this huge liability of this like It's like the, ironically Coachella. back to the Uber book. Yeah. It starts with that big X to the X week that they did. Or what 10 the to X? the 10. They did when oh, they the hit a hundred billion dollars and they did the Vegas week of parties and yeah, yeah, yeah. some like one guy called up two prostitutes and he robbed them blind. They got robbed blind and then they were fired on the spot. Yeah. And it was, I mean, just like on and on and on. It's a pretty good book actually. You'd never, I mean, in the old days, Everybody would take their retreats in Vegas and do all this kind of stuff. Like Microsoft, everybody would yeah. have these giant things because you needed to have a stadium that could fill, you know, or halls that could fill tens of thousands of employees. That's when you see, like, uh, those guys dancing on stage and screaming developers. Like, those are almost Steve all in Ballmer, Vegas. Steve right, moment right. everyone's seen on YouTube, yeah. I really, those days are long over. I yeah, really but, want to start my version of the company where we actually do like block by block development, like stadium style, and then also host summer camps for poor kids. Yeah, like actual summer camps. Summer camps. Kids, yes. summer I don't camp think for no one's going to give me money for yeah, that. I was going to say, no. the Vision Fund's not calling you up. Um, okay, well, anyways, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not alone in the WeWork chaos because I, I was concerned that I was too stupid to figure it out. And I was missing something very important, but it doesn't sound like it. So, what, what to out. you 